UFC fans, we'd like to welcome you to the weigh-in for UFC 241, Cormier versus Miacic 2. Tomorrow night, live on pay-per-view, it'll be a UFC heavyweight championship rematch as Daniel Cormier puts his title on the line against the former belt holder, Stipe Miocic. Plus, in the co-headliner, Anthony Showtime Pettis looks to continue his welterweight momentum against another mixed martial arts icon, the returning Nate Diaz. And in a feature bout at middleweight, Yoel Soldier of God Romero takes on fellow contender Paolo the Eraser Costa. We would like to thank our sponsors. Modelo, proof for those with a fighting spirit. Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile. Get knockout coverage on a network that rivals the big guys for way less. And Body Armor. Body Armor Sports Drink provides superior hydration for today's athletes. More electrolytes, more vitamins, better sports drink. Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC. We would also like to send a special welcome to our UFC Fight Club members joining us today here in Anaheim, California. We hope to see all of you once again for the live action at Honda Center tomorrow night. And now for the call of the way in for UFC 241. Here is Joe Rogan. What's happening, my friends in Anaheim? Welcome to the weigh-ins. Have a nice round of applause for Ariane, Brittany, Brooklyn, Sean Shelby, and Nick Maynard, the matchmakers extraordinaire. And we got a hell of a card for you, folks. We're going to kick things off in the women's flyweight division, live on UFC Fight Pass. Sabina Mazo versus Shanna Dobson. First up on the scale, Shanna Dobson, official weight 124.5. And her opponent, Sabina Mazzo. Official weight, 126. First fight of the night, ladies and gentlemen, Shanna Dobson and Sabina Mazzo. Next, we move to the bantamweight division. Kyung Ho Kang versus Brendan Davis. up on the scale, Brandon Davis. Official weight, 136. And his opponent, Kyung Ho Kang. Official weight, 136. Ah! Brandon Davis and Kung Ho Kang. Next, we move to the feature bout on UFC Fiveway. In the women's straw weight division, Hannah Cyphers versus Jody Escabel. First up. 
Welcome to scale, Jody Escobel. Official weight, 116. And her opponent, Hannah Cyphers. Official weight, 114.5. The feature belt on Fight Pass, ladies and gentlemen, Hannah Cyphers and Jody Escabel. Next, we move to the ESPN prelims. We kick things off at a catchweight bout. Manny Bermudez versus Casey Kenny. Official weight, 139 for Mr. Kenny. And his opponent, Manny Bermudez. Official weight, 40 for Mr. Bermudez. Casey, Kenny, and Manny Bermudez kicking things off on ESPN. Next, we move to the lightweight division. Christos Gagos versus Dracar Close. First up on the scale, Dracar Close. Official weight, 155.5. And his opponent, Christos Gagos. Official weight, 155. Dracar, close, and Christos Giagos. Next, we move to the bantamweight division. Rafael Asuncao versus Corey Sanhagen. Official weight, 136 for Mr. Sandhagen. And his opponent, Rafael Asuncao. Official weight, 136. Corey Sanhagen and Rafael Asuncao. Next, we move to the feature bout in the lightweight division. Devontae Smith versus Kaba Worthy. up 
up on the scale, Kama Worthy! Official weight, 155.5! And his opponent, Devontae Smith. Official weight, 156. The feature bout on the ESPN prelims, ladies and gentlemen, Devontae Smith and Karma Worthy. Next, we move to the main card, live on pay-per-view. We kick things off in the middleweight division. Derek Brunson versus Ian Heinisch. Official weight, 185.5 for Mr. Heinisch. And his opponent, Derek Brunson. Official weight, 186 for Mr. Brunson. Heinisch versus Derek Brunson. Next, we move to the featherweight division. Gabriel Benitez versus Sadiq Youssef. Up on the scale, Sadiq Yusuf. Official weight, 145. And his opponent, Gabriel Benitez. Official weight, 145. Sadiq Yusuf versus Gabriel Benitez, ladies and gentlemen. Next, we move to the middleweight division. Strap yourselves in, ladies and gentlemen. Yoel Romero versus Paulo Costa. Official weight, 186. And his opponent, Yoel Romero. Official weight, 184.5 from Mr. Romero. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a hell of a fight. Polo, Costa, and Yoel Romero. Now 
time, let's take a closer look at the two men involved in the co-main event of the evening. Real true fans know the history. They know when I was a champ, how much he was talking and how much animosity was behind that. I wasn't happy about the stuff that was going on with him. I saw him come in, and then before you know it, he turned around for a second and he's on Wheaties box, and I was like, hold up. No, I'm fighting the Wheaties box, dude. When I was the champion, I just beat Gilbert Melendez, his teammate. I was like trying to get a fight with him, and he was big leaguing me. And then he comes walking by me all cool. Wheaties box guy. Anthony Pettis walking around like he's tight too, but all these are scared to look at my face. He put the fingers up, started talking trash. Call him a right here. Don't act like you want to fight if you're not going to do That's where my frustration comes from. It's like, man, if you want to fight, let's sign a contract. We can fight. As a martial artist, let's set up the octagon. Let the world watch so I can embarrass you in front of the world. We should have fought a long time ago. But here we are now, and I think it's all about to go down. Anthony Pettis versus Nate Diaz is a very intriguing fight. Nate Diaz has been out waiting for a fight that interested him. This is one of those fights. Oh! Nate's hurting him. He's hurting him. Nate Diaz beat Conor McGregor in their first fight in a crazy upset. He's got him flattened out. He's got the choke. He tapped. He tapped. And then lost a razor close decision in their second fight. Oh! Nate Diaz! He's got an iron chin. He has fantastic boxing technique. He's very talented on the ground. Outstanding! And now he gets a chance to fight a surging former champion in Anthony Pettis. Oh, big right hand and Wonderboy's out! Showtime, Pettis! Anthony Pettis has a unique combination of traditional martial arts skills along with lightning fast submissions, particularly off of his back. Showtime is back! And if you relax for one second with Pettis, a left high kick is coming towards your neck. Oh, that's it! They're gonna that's finish! It. That's and it. it's all over! The lights come on at showtime, you know. I always want to put on a show. Oh my goodness! Pettis, what Did you class? see that? I'm looking forward to just putting my hands on Nate Diaz. I just want to expose him. Nate's not as good as everybody thinks he is, and you will see that August 17th. When it's time to fight, it's time to fight. You're not gonna just run me over. Oh, he might be out on his feet! Diaz has done it! It's not about making gestures and flipping each other off. I'm gonna punch him in his face as much as I can until the ref stops it. Oh my goodness! I'm just gonna show up, make it happen the way I want it to happen and win the fight. Oh, he's gonna break the arm. Hands oh. all over! I come to fight and we'll see what happens. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Nate Diaz! Official weight, 170! And his opponent, the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, Anthony Showtime Pettis! Official weight, 69.5. I'm here with Nate Diaz. Nate, can I talk to you for a second? First of all, welcome back. I'm going to talk to you too. Welcome back, sir. It's great to see you back in the octagon. Give us your thoughts about what it feels like to be back and how you feel about tomorrow night. I feel like it's time to fight. That's what I'm here for. So it's kill or be killed, like I always say, and uh, that's what I'm, I'm here for. Good luck to you, sir. We'll see you tomorrow night. Nate Diaz, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with Mr. Pettis. Anthony, your, your last fight at Welterweight, you look fantastic. Do you feel that this is your weight class now? And how do you feel about this fight with Nate Diaz? Hey, nothing else to say. Tomorrow night is showtime. That's it, baby. Good luck to you, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're down to the main event. Let's take a look at the two men involved in the heavyweight championship of the world. 
Here is the two-time United States Olympic wrestler, the UFC light heavyweight champion, the future Hall of Famer, Daniel Cormier. I always said that when I started doing this, I wanted to be remembered. For me to become a two-division champion, it means legacy. Legacy stays forever. Everything else fades away. Never before has a UFC light heavyweight champion moved up to challenge the active heavyweight champion. So here is the no-nonsense UFC heavyweight champion, Stipe Miocic. On paper, this is the most accomplished UFC heavyweight champion this octagon has ever seen. I beat Stipe Miocic and become the heavyweight champion and the light heavyweight champion. I may be the greatest fighter of all time. Miocic set a new standard for this division, and Daniel put all of that to bed tonight. I'm a two division champion, baby! Uh, the reason I wanted to rematch with DC is that I, I know I'm a better fighter. I know I, than him, I know that I, I can win the fight, and um, I'm gonna prove it. I felt like I was a better fighter. I felt like I was winning the fight, and I just caught with a good punch. Thanks for winning the lottery. Like I always say, there's a few bumps in the road. Sometimes you get knocked down, but you gotta get back up. You know, take what's yours. Oh, that's it! Hit it, it's all over! Oh, that is it! This guy's a beast. The first man to defend the heavyweight title three times. Big shots! Hit it, it's all over! Stephen Miocic! And since day one, all the sweat, tears, and blood to reach one goal. Being the UFC every champion is everything to me. Me versus Stipe is a fight between two of the best heavyweights in the UFC of all time. But at the end of the day, I just think matchup-wise, it's not a good fight for him. Daniel Cormier wants to take you down, smash you, and break your will. That's it. Daniel Cormier defends his UFC heavyweight title. August 17th, I beat Stipe Miocic again. And this time, I not only beat him in the fight, but I ruined him. History in the making, Daniel Cormier. What's going to be different about this rematch is that I'm going to win the fight. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to smash. And I'm walking out with my belt. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Introducing the challenger, the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. Official weight, 230.5. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the former champ, Stipe. This is a fight that you have been waiting for for a long time, sir. Give us your thoughts on how it feels to finally have this opportunity to get a crack at your title again tomorrow night. It feels fantastic, man. We'll get what's mine. Good luck to you, sir. We'll see you tomorrow night. Stipe Miocic, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here with the champ, DC. This is about legacy. This is about your heavyweight title. Give us your thoughts on what it means to defend it against the man you beat to win this title. You're exactly right, Joe. It's about my heavyweight championship. He's been acting like he won the first fight. Tomorrow I show you sometimes you ask for shit you really don't want. And still. Good luck to you, sir. Daniel Cormier, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all for coming out. We'll see you tomorrow night. the most accomplished heavyweight of all time. He knocks out Fabrizio Verdum to win the title. That's it! I'm a one trip! He knocks out Alistair Overeem to defend the title. 
knocks out Junior Dos Santos, beats Francis. He's got more title defenses than anybody in the history of the sport. Then he gets knocked out by Daniel Cormier. Stipe Miocic set a new standard for this division, and Daniel put all of that to bed. For sure, I'd like to see a rematch. It's like when? This is the fight that settles it all. I think he's a good fighter. I just don't think he's good enough to beat me. Lots change. I'm walking out with about wrapped on my waist, no question. What a fantastic stylistic matchup, ladies and gentlemen. This is an amazing fight. Two of the best middleweights in the world. One punch knockout power. What an amazing night of fights.